This is Sean Plew from Hitters.com. Today I'm going to take a look at David Ortiz. A couple things I want you to notice. Very exaggerated movements. I don't see any coaches teaching this, and maybe for good reason, but we need our hitters to flow, and we need them to be athletic in the box. We need to let them maximize their bat speed and their power and learn how to hit with that. Um, and what you'll find is that their adjustability will increase as well. Uh, movement is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm all about being on time, and these movements should happen on time, and they should be lifting their leg in time. Let's take a look at when he's lifting his leg here. Basically, when the pitcher takes the ball out of his glove, Ortiz lifts his leg. I want you to notice where the hands are, where the bat gets to, really tips the bat, this is a load, right? A lot of you people looking at swings, you'll say like, okay, the load's happening back here, you know, as the foot's getting down. No. He has loaded the hands at this point. Look on the left here. The barrel's tipped completely. This is a load of the hands. Understand this happens because the goal of his hands and his upper body is to take the barrel backwards. Now, he might not even tell you that himself. But we can take a look at the better hitters of all time. A lot of very similar swing movements. And they're all tipping the bat. And they're tipping the bat to then twist the bat backwards and carry that momentum around and into the baseball. A lot of very similar movements and similar positions of the greatest hitters of all time. And we need to be looking at this if we want to maximize our abilities. Look here from a different angle. Tip the bat, probably not quite as high of a leg kick here. Yep, shorten the leg kick on this swing, but look how far that barrel's tipped. And I want you to understand, he's taking the barrel from this position, the ball's almost in the air, and then around into this position. The bend in the arms has been maintained. The hands have not come forward yet, the hands have stayed at the shoulder. And you see we've lost the barrel. We've the barrel's blurred. A lot of the bat speed is being created here and then being directed into the baseball. Take a look at some more hitters who display this characteristic here. Hank Aaron is one of them. Again, tips the bat, twists the barrel around the hands, carrying the momentum into the baseball. Ted Williams. Tip the bat, bring it around and into the baseball. Let's take a look at Rogers Hornsby here. Same kind of deal, obviously a lot more exaggerated with the barrel tip, but same exact kind of movements happening here. Babe Ruth. Barry Bonds. What you'll see is a correlation between all these great hitters. They're basically doing the same thing. Learn more at hitterish.com. Catch you next time. Oh my city, I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I. Been the coast, greatest blessing, greatest blessing.